I don't read all the things written about me. I wasn't aware that the world thought I was so weird and bizarre. But when you grow up as I did in front of 100 million people since the age of five, you're automatically different. The last few weeks, I have been cleansing myself and it's been a rebirth for myself. It's like a cleansing spirit. I love you too. <laughs> My, my childhood was completely taken away from me. There was no Christmas, there was no birthdays. It was not a normal childhood. No normal pleasures of childhood. Those were exchanged for hard work, struggle and pain. And eventual material and professional success. But as an awful price, I cannot recreate that part of my life. Nor would I change any part of my life. However, today, when I create my music, I feel like an instrument of nature. I wonder what delight nature must feel when we open our hearts and express our God-given talents. The sound of approval rolls across the universe and the whole world abounds in magic. Wonder fills our hearts for what we have glimpsed for an instant, the playfulness of life. And that's why I love children and learn so much from being around them. I realize that many of our world's problems today from the inner city crime to large scale wars and terrorism and our overcrowded prisons are a result of the fact that children have had their childhood stolen from them. The magic, the wonder, the mystery, and the innocence of a child's heart are the seeds of creativity that will heal the world. I really believe that. What we, what we, <laughs> I love you too. What, what we need to learn, what we need to learn from children isn't childish. Being with them connects us to the deeper wisdom of life, which is ever present and only asked to be lived. They know the way to solutions that lie waiting to be recognized within our own hearts. Today I would like to thank all the children of the world, including including the sick and deprived, I am so sensitive to your pain. I also...